presenting the cheese today. I'm going to start with a little bit of goat's cheese. I'm just going to chop that in half so we can, this is a very dry and firm goat's cheese. You can just see there, a little firm around the outside, so that's going to be fairly full flavoured. I'm going to just do nice thin slices of this. I'm using a sharp knife here because it's going to crumble a bit and we might have to work with this a bit. Just a little. There we are, you see it crumbled as I said, it's very dry, but that's gonna be really quite strong. Actually, that'll probably be our second cheese on the plate, and we will start possibly with something a little milder than that. Um, okay, and then I'm going to have a little bit of, um, this is from the Ile de France, a little bit of Brie, Brie de Meaux. It's delicious, and you can see it's looking fantastic. It's not up to room temperature yet. When it is, that's gonna be alive and walking across the room. So, again, give a nice piece of that. This cheese usually comes as an interim between um, mains and desserts, or, or it's the dessert. They've already eaten. It's about savouring the flavours and enjoying the flavours um, at the end of the meal. So we don't need a massive amount. And, and we're always the same with our guests. If they want a bit more of something, have a bit more. So there we are. We're going to start with the um, Brie de Meaux, then onto the Lango Géant. Um, and then I'm going to go onto one of the hard cheeses. So today I've got two hard cheeses. This is. Um, Napoleon, which is from the Pyrenees, and that's a, uh, a used milk cheese. It's got a lovely, um, fresh, floral flavour to it, and really delicious. And this one here, you can see that, is some uh, Conte. This is 12-month uh, Conte from the French Conte region, cow's milk cheese, um, and got a fantastic nuttiness. Now, with this style of cheese, I love to cut it way, as thin as I can get it, way for thin. It's going to... Um, Flake a bit. They don't have to be accurate um, slices. We're not that exact, exactly how I want it. So it's like fine slithers like that, and it doesn't matter that that, that it breaks like that. I, I cannot touch anything. So this is on a floor. We should never make the mistake of try. I don't think we should make the mistake of trying to make lovely even slices and layer them up as if it was I don't know a piece of beef and we've sliced it nicely. It should just look a little more rustic and organic. Going to have a bit of this. Um, Ponlevec, which is from the Pays d'Oge, Northern France. This is a cow's milk cheese with a uh, washed rind, so it's just lovely and runny. And I, with these washed rind cheeses, I think the best way to serve is just to take a spoon out and just, just leave it like that. And then finally, we're going to end with a little Roquefort here from Aquitaine in the southwest of France. I love this one. it's a classic blue cheese. So I'm going to just do a nice slither there. It's quite a generous portion I've done here for the purpose of this. This, this would be a portion for two people to share, I think. So there we are, just simple, simply presented. So going from the milder working way around to the um, fuller flavour cheese. And that's how we do cheese at Lindersand.